There's a brand new use for taxidermy, and that is stopping poachers. Uh, robotic taxidermy animals are helping to stop uh, ca by catching poachers in North America. And it may sound crazy, but here's a video to explain it better. This is portable, it comes in pieces, and we just put it together, it's very mobile, we can move it to different areas. We offer cash rewards for information that leads to the arrest and conviction of poachers. You know, with the old uh, full mount taxidermy, you know, it was pretty much stuck in this position. Now, you can actually, as they sit there, oh, that's not real. You know, have our friend look away, and then when they make a movement, you just come back to them. And usually that's enough to, uh, to sell them. And with that, uh, the agents uh, spot the poacher after they shoot the animal and they are arrested. So this, there are 29 of these animals actively being used across North America. Uh, they range from deer to uh, other animals, including coyotes, bears, pronghorns, and other places that have poaching problems. Um, so this is a great use for taxidermy, I guess, because yeah. I don't like it personally, but I would like to stop poachers. Of course, uh, you'd want to see this taken even further and maybe go across to Africa and see specifically with things like maybe like rhinos and stuff like that that really endangered species from poaching. The only reason, I don't know if it was just my weird thoughts on this when I was thinking about it, maybe I was just expecting like Ace Ventura to come jumping out of one of the bodies. Have you seen Ace Ventura, the second one? Out of the butthole. Yeah. <laughs> when he's part of Thanks the for making me say butthole kind on my show, Francis. That was my immediate goal, <laughs> kind of coming out and being like, aha, I got you. But um, yeah, I I'm all for this. It's taking something that you're not exactly for in terms of what it is, but turning it into a positive, and if you can try well, and prevent not, people from poaching. I don't think taxidermy is like evil. I just yeah. personally don't enjoy it. Oh, I don't it. like it. That's it's, all. I mean, there's plenty of people me. who love it. I went to Kara Santa Maria's house, and she has taxidermy that she made in there, and a lot of people enjoy it. It's fine. But the point here is, like, you're using robots to help, too. I mean, they're not doing that much. It didn't look beyond, maybe it's just because we were talking about Small World, but it looked a lot like the... The animatronics very, yeah. at Disney, maybe, in yeah. terms of movement. It was very robotic, but at the same time, as for poachers, like they often, you're, you're hoping that their instinct is that when they're in a situation like that, they often shoot first, think later, right? That's what most mm -hmm. of these poachers do. We've seen the whole problem with Cecile the, the lion, which was shot by, I believe, the dentist. The, the, the dentist. And, I, dentist. and if you can do anything to prevent anything like that happening, I'm all for it, specifically if you can catch these. Uh, idiots that are doing this. It's, it's such a problem. It's, I was watching one of the safari shows for Good Morning America when I wake mm -hmm. up and have my coffee and it's amazing the number, it's, it's staggering the numbers now that, and, and the expectations that we are maybe in the next five to ten years going to lose so many issue. animals. It really is between yeah. conservation ideally and then uh, local economies in uh, different African communities. We yeah. did have a video with a naturalist on this which yeah. is he's very much on the side of conservation but in using realistic terms it's it's a complicated picture yeah um, but here in America I there are we don't necessarily have those ne same um, uh, um, economical constraints yeah so we would I I'm cool with this this is pretty awesome yeah um, so recently two men in Maryland were prosecuted after they illegally shot a robot deer with a crossbow uh, the deer only received minor injuries also the deer was already dead so it's okay a crossbow yeah. Like, it just seems like these guys are looking to use, use, like utilize their new weapons in any way possible. Let's go out and see if we can try and shoot this animal and see what happens. Like this, that to me is, it's it's something I have never understood culturally. It's coming poaching. Yeah, like, it's not, illegal. No, not not, but that, but in terms of like, it's such an a, uh, it's such a, it's like a sport. Let's go out and shoot, and we'll see if we can go and hunt animals. Like in the United States, I get another thing that comes with the the territory of having so many guns. Mm -hmm. We don't do that that much. I think the only things we shoot is like quail in the UK where you have like how dare you <laughs> where you just like it's still it's, it's still would never be my cup of tea but at the same time people do it in like the posh areas of London whereas how many times have I been invited to you want to go and see if we can try and go and hunt or, or go and shoot some guns and see what animals like it's just it's strange to me I've never understood it but again it's certainly in, not for me I can understand some legal hunting to some extent mm -hmm. it's not again not for me but sure uh, you can have it but poaching is straight up illegal. It's yeah. bad for the environmental areas, the, the specific uh, ecologies of the areas. It's bad on many reasons for the species themselves. We need to be conserving animals in these areas, and it's not happening. So, you know what? Go get them, robot deer. Audience, what do you think? <laughs> Let us know below in the comments, and please like and subscribe for more.